Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for ukulele and the impossible lair. This time I'm going to show you how to access and complete level 1-2, Capital Causeway Chaos. Level 1 is obviously the first level in the game, outside of the impossible lair. You cannot unlock the alternate version of this level until you reach the lighthouse area, which is in the bottom left corner of the map. So once you're in this lighthouse area, you want to navigate near the lighthouse and into the bottom right hand corner of the map and speak with the frog. He will ask you if you've seen his fishing rod. So uh, this fishing rod is near the beginning of the game. I'm not 100% sure if you need to actually walk over the fishing rod in order to make uh, Yuka and Lele tell him about it or if they will just always tell him about it. But if he is asking him about it and they're not telling him about it, just walk up here and you'll see a fishing rod, go back to him and tell him about it. So once he swims away, He'll be using that fishing rod inside of the chapter one storybook, and if you talk to him, he will reel up part of the level. So this is where the chaos aspect of the level comes in. He has basically destroyed the level. So once you head inside, uh, you will see that the level is pretty much wrecked. Everything's on fire, nothing's good, but we'll, we'll get through it. So the first Twitch coin is to the left of the spawn, and the camera is sort of obfuscating it. But once you get it, just swing back over, and then you want to take this bomb and then activate the green ghost quill. So just follow the trail, collect as many quills as you can. Uh, I wasn't able to collect all of them, but collected as many as I could, toss the bomb on this gyrocopter enemy, and then wait for two missiles to crash into the ground. Pick up the 10, ghost, uh, 10 quills from the ghost quill, and then slam through this door, and then pick up the two crown quills, and then collect all the arrow quills. Okay, so that's the first little section of the level. There is an octopus uh, guarding a crown quill. It is possible to get that crown quill without taking a hit. I just wasn't able to do it reliably at all. So you can either tank the, the, the octopus or just, you know, just ignore it. It's up to you. Over here, there are circling quills guarded by a couple of octopus enemies. So we're gonna collect all that. There's a missile launcher over here. Be careful with that. Just wait for it to launch a missile and then jump over it. There's an arrow pointing to our right, and all the way to the right here is a Laley Bell in a box, so break that open and ring it to get Laley back. Now it's time to start getting uh, Twitch Point number two. So from this checkpoint, there is a hidden cannon. You want to use it and then activate the blue ghost quill, and then collect all the quills that it uh, gives you in its little challenge. And we're gonna bring this bomb over to the cage to the right, but we have to do some swimming in order to get over there. So I'm gonna collect these two crown quills, but these are optional. You don't have to get these, of course. Do your best to swim around the octopus that is trying to suck you in, as well as the one following you. And then this area here, there's a trail of octopus that are all swimming uh, counterclockwise or anti-clockwise around this uh, brick thing. Uh, there's a Lely Bell on the bottom, in case you need. But you want to just swim along, don't get hit by any of the octopus, jump out of the water, bomb open the cage, and then you'll get twit coin number two. I was trying to see here if there was like a hidden cannon somewhere that would take me across, but I wasn't able to find it, if it even exists. It just seemed weird that there was a platform on top of there. Um, but in any event, we're just gonna do what we did before. We're just gonna swim along, avoid all the octopus. Uh, there's a little fan down there that's pushing you in one direction. So we're gonna hit the checkpoint, and then the next, uh, the, the next twit coin, we need to use this mimicking enemy with. So just, have him jump along and then grab this bomb. Okay, and then there is a gyrocopter enemy over here that we're gonna use the bomb to kill. And this gyrocopter enemy is guarding a trap door, so buddy slam through it for twit coin number three. Okay. So there's a bomb in this crate up here and it's only accessible by using the enemies. Uh, you can use it to blow up this missile launcher. I mistimed it and just blew up a missile. That cannon leads to a purple ghost quill. If you want to get it, go for it. Uh, I accidentally broke the box too early and missed it, so I wasn't able to get it. All right, so this bomb here we're gonna use on the cannon. Break these boxes open and then the bricks will give way. I think the bomb is meant to be used on this guy. Not 100% certain. There's a blue ghost quill here. Just watch out for the blue spider because it can uh, kind of charge after you. It's, it's like a homing spider and the vines reach all the way to the ground. So it can touch you even though you're on the ground. But when you get all the uh, quills from the blue ghost quill, we'll give you a piece of fruit and we're gonna use that in just a second 
to get twig coin number four. But first, we're gonna get everything that this gold ghost quill is trying to give us. So, just follow the path. We're gonna get a couple crown quills. Avoid the uh, blue spider one more time. Get it to charge after you, and then just snake around it. Okay, so just roll past these rollers. Avoid the rollers in the current. Hit the checkpoint, and then we're gonna swim along here. There is an enemy in a little uh, tube, or sort of like a life preserver. He's trying to drop uh, bombs or grenades on you, so just avoid those and kill them when you can. There's also a Laley Bell, a Laley Bell there in case you need. But we're gonna use the piece of fruit on this spider to get rid of it, because we're gonna get to a coin number four. All right, so we're gonna fall down here, and we're gonna hit the uh, cannon over here, and we're gonna get the two uh, ground quills, and then it's going to launch a missile, which can use the vines to avoid it. And now we're at twig point number five. Twig point number five is down here with a red ghost quill. So you want to keep high jumping as soon as the bricks give way, and then you'll be able to uh, just high bounce off of the red ghost quill and uh, just secure coin number five. There's a checkpoint right up here, so you want to hit that. Uh, do your best to grab everything that the gold ghost quill is trying to give you. Crown quill up here for you. All right, we are going to get hit by the missile, but we can end the level right here now that we've gotten everything. And that's it. That is chapter 1-2. It takes a long time to unlock. You don't unlock it until you're near the end of the game. We're about three quarters of the way through. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for ukulele and the impossible lair, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new videos go live. If you like this content a whole lot, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.